A national park has some of the most diverse marine life in the world. But for weeks now, a U.S. Navy ship has been stranded here, stuck on a reef. It ran aground while on its way to Indonesia after a port call in the Philippines. The ship had no clearance to pass through these protected waters. And the U.S. Navy has yet to explain to its Philippine counterpart what its ship was doing in Tubataha. We will do the uh, analysis and uh, probably provide inputs on how uh, probably we can improve no, on uh, further uh, securing and protecting that uh, uh, Tubataha reefs. President Aquino says the U.S. Navy must pay for the damage it caused and should be held responsible for violating Philippine laws. The Philippines has long been an ally of the United States. Now, that partnership has never been more crucial as it aims to slow down the growing influence of China in the region. But many wonder if this alliance is mutually beneficial. Since shifting its military focus to Asia, the United States has been expanding its military presence in the Philippines. But many see such presence as an incursion into Philippine sovereignty. It is also not the first time that the U.S. has been accused of causing environmental damage in the country. Last year, almost 200,000 liters of toxic waste was allegedly dumped by a U.S. Navy contractor. The way we account the United States will be softer because we don't want to offend an ally. When it comes to assault against our ecology, assault against our people, and against uh, assault against our integrity as a nation, I think we have to be tougher to anybody, including the United States. The U.S. Embassy in Manila has issued a statement saying, As the investigation of this matter proceeds, we hope to continue our close coordination with the Philippine government to understand precisely what happened so we can ensure there will be no recurrence. The U.S. government is now in charge of the salvage operation, but it's still not clear when the ship will be moved. So for now, all the Philippine authorities can do is wait, while the real extent of the damage to the country's natural heritage remains unknown, at least for now. Jamal Alindogan, Al Jazeera, Palawan, Western Philippines.